jam. Teddy jam for me, yeah. I'm Teddy Riley, and I am the man behind the music. I am the man behind a lot of things, and you will see that coming soon. What balances me right now is my music. Teddy Riley, did you say these things to the National Choir? I felt like these guys didn't know what the heck they were doing. Y'all don't get out of my house right now. Got out through the media. You treat a legend and you got to get on this stage. The journey of this legend is the man behind the music. We were friends on the street level way before the music came in. There's a song, No Diggity, and they're trying to get him to put Cam Boxy, this person on it. And he said, no, go back and get Lanise. Somebody find me Lanise. I, I made a promise to her. The next day, I was on the plane. We both called the police. I called the police, and she called the police. So I immediately told Tasha, get out of my house, three times. And the third time, she didn't move, so I collared her. As soon as I moved up towards the door, she came back swinging on me. Caught me once in my face, and I said, all right, you want to do that? I pushed her up against the wall, which is why this is happening on her face. I pushed her, and then dragged her to the ground. All this is going down, and there's even more that I, I know I will find out that has been done against me, which is fine, it happens within families, but I'm not gonna be broken from it. I'm one that you yo, speak to everybody. You know, I'm not Hollywood. If I deal, deal with somebody, it would be somebody just coming in the business, you know, starting their career, but someone that's mature. If I had, like, just say, this is it, it would be my number one best friend, and you will find that out. So what balances me right now is my music. And I do have adopted children who respect me to the utmost no matter what. We're both leavers. He's gonna be twelve when I'm thirteen. <laughs> I like that. Boys to men have such a big following in Asia. It's so great working with them here. So when I get back to Korea, you know, people would even like, wow, you work with boys to men. Teddy Riley, we in the studio with Teddy Riley. One more time. I was talking to um, one of the girls from um, Dirty Money. You know, she's a writer. She was asking, you know, who you guys working with? And I said, Teddy Riley, you know, uh, Tim and Bob, you know, Jam and Lewis, Babyface. She's like, um, you working with Teddy Riley? I said, yeah, man. I said, honestly, can I just be totally honest with you? Teddy is on some new. Get ready! His approach. It's light years ahead of everybody else. It's my love elevator. Love elevator. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing a lot of international business. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce and most of the, the main artists, they are huge over there. Right. And this could be a dope market for you to go over there right. because of who you are right. to introduce and present your daughter. Right. So all I have to do is just hear right. what she got and then I'll take it to the next level. Watching this TV screen in our dressing room and seeing El DeBarge didn't make me uh, happy, it made me sad. He wasn't in great condition. They just pushed him out there and then I, I felt like these guys didn't know what the heck they were doing. Hey, DJ, I need you. That's it. DJ, I need you. I wasn't happy about that. I just felt it was wrong the way you treat a legend, especially someone that I look up to. No, you're not going to look at No. But they're going to forget about that when you come out on stage with us. I want to bring my big brother and my idol on this stage. Mr. Aldebar, can you please come back on this stage? And when he got on the stage, I felt like I wanted to cry. I felt like God just put that one thing into him to just hit a note. <laughs> I felt happy that I, I could help redeem 
his throne. You know, he's like one of the kings. This was our first show at Urban Legend. I was so hyped, my mind was saying, you gotta get on this stage and you gotta do your thing. This time, we want this to be the final four. Hey, bub, if you don't know who I am by right now, The journey of this legend is the man behind the music.